Well, hi there, I'm Fenwa. I'm Lops. And I'm Demo Weasel. And welcome back to The Fifth Element. Oh. Almost to the end, guys. Yeah, yep. this this is our final recording session. Zorg yeah. is implementing his fiendish plan by booby-trapping the opera with a time bomb. <gasps> Corbin must activate the electronic post hidden in the building in order to lay the, the countdown and find a rescue shuttle to escape. Well, we already did all that, now we're playing as Lilu, and we have to get the air activator and also get to the rescue shuttle and also get the Mondo Shawan key. Oh. Yeah, I got a better idea. Let's not play this game. Oh. Soon. That's Soon, right. Frankie. We're abandoning the fifth element right now at the <laughs> I, beginning of this mut episode. Mutiny. Yes. Please enjoy the rest of this video footage. All right, so you may remember the area surrounding the opera house uh, mm -hmm. from the last video where we were playing as Corbin, and there was a ticking time bomb. Why are we inside a spaghetti factory? And there's no longer a ticking time bomb, and why did they give you a shield like right at the very beginning? Hey, look it! It's a it's a it's warping your skybox painting. It's a again. warping skybox wall of space. That's nice. It's like a cheap set. That's even worse. Yes, psionic powers. <laughs> well, in an attempt to justify what the developers were thinking, since Corbin is handling the bomb stuff, it's not really a factor in Lilu's mission at all. So mm -hmm. we can just assume that Corbin is out there somewhere cons constantly resetting the 1 minute 30 second timer uh, while Lilu grabs the stuff that they need to get to get to Egypt. Oh shit, we gotta get... we, we have to give Lilu something to do. Huh. Uh, just kick some dudes. Mm. Well, hey, that air isn't going to activate itself. Where are you going to find something that blows air on something? It's your mouth. Go. <laughs> no, you, you go, we're not going to make it. And then... <laughs> or you just run into a corner for a little oh, while. What the? Whoa. Jesus. So these these are Mangalores again, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yes, the These's Mangaloids. A... Oh, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> you were right the first time. Yep. If well, why is it just, stop, just fucking stop backflipping <laughs> yeah. and get the stuff. <laughs> it's all I know. It's all I know how to do. It's all that... Lulu you know, doesn't walk backwards. She backflips backwards. Yes. Oh, God. I, like, it's... We were almost to the why end of this. Why is that texture there? Oh, God. <laughs> we're almost to the end of this, and that running animation still, like, does not look any better to me. Just yeah. the, the, the torso hovering in place with legs moving underneath it. Yep. It's like somebody sort of has her, like on a big stick, like, just stuck through her torso and it's kind of pushing her along. Mm hmm <laughs> Whoa, it's goodbye music. It'll come back. No, it won't. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? What was that noise? That was the shield pickup. Mm hmm Okay, Did so she's messing around in the kitchen of, uh, Foston Paradise's... Ow. Biggest restaurant. <laughs> ah, you stepped on that dead guy. <laughs> Fuck you, dishes! Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure that this vent will take us to uh, a place that we were at when we were playing as Corbin. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm just crawling in this vent for no reason. Or this vent takes us nowhere. That's on. great. Wh one of these vents does something. Oh, God. Do you really have to go into, like, every single one of them? It's a dumbwaiter. Whoa. I don't know. It looks pretty spooky to me. Don't go in there. Stop making ableist jokes. You could get, uh... Well, why is the dumbwaiter going up, like, automatically? It goes up and down, and you have to just get in when it's in the down position. It's yes. an elevator. Oh, just God. check out that sweet camera angle. <laughs> just turn around ah. and just drop a deuce right there in the dumbwaiter. Yes, that's the direction this game goes in. <laughs> oh, what the... Oh, shit. That, no. fire, that fire with three, three frames is back. That's right. Oh, it is more than two frames. We were we were dead wrong in the last video. See, look, I think that, it's... that would probably look okay if it moved faster than, like, three frames per second. <laughs> yeah, if it just flickered. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. It definitely wouldn't. <laughs> God, it's just... Now Lilu has to turn on the pipes. All right, do the... <laughs> Yes, Lilo has to pet the valves. Yes, that's right. She's got to do it carefully. Just reach out and touch, then go, then put your hand back at your side. Uh, I don't know why I bother like hitting that. all three of them when clearly you only need to hit, Whoa. like, a specific one to actually activate the water. I just noticed that Lilu's arms don't rest at her sides. Like, they just, uh, like, it's almost like she's trying to flex her biceps while holding her arms down. I just noticed that her arms look super duper like sort of thin and like her hand like her hand is clenched into a fist 
and it seems like uh, if this makes sense, it's mm-hmm. like they cut off half the length of her hand and added it to the rest of her arm, mm-hmm. so that it looks like her her arm is longer than it should be because her hand is like constantly stuck into a clenched position, and they thought like. Well, if we keep these hands clenched, then people will think, oh, her arms are too short. But it's like, mm-hmm. no, they're in fists. Oh. You're, it seems like you're nitpicking finer details of a character's anatomy whose uh, waist is thinner than their head. Yeah. It's, it, you, we've already addressed how, how her waist is, like, pencil thin. Yes. The arms must be addressed now as pencil thin. And also her face is fucking stupid. Okay. That's what's wrong <laughs> with the anatomy of her face. Mm-hmm. This face that we don't actually see. Oh, oh well. Oh, 37 lives. We can do this. And slightly delayed audio, again. That's 185 elements, I think? Uh, sure. Okay. It's greater than five. There's so many. Oh no, there's barrels of TNT. Oh, no. I thought it was oh. barrels of TNT. No, I think it's just barrels of barrels. Whoa. It's too bad you don't have a flashlight and the music died again. Yeah. This is a really short loop. Yeah, I guess. Why would they put a short loop in a long level? Hey, we found the key. What? You'll make your way into the cellar where the ghost lives. That's right. M- what? But it's actually just Old Man's Org. That's not a oh. word. And he would have, what, the Mandashawan? Yeah. That's that's the name of the weird, like, space where you look at alien things. No. From the start of the movie. Yes. No. Objectively, yes, I've seen the movie. So, so have I. <laughs> Why would they use wooden at- barrels on Floss in Paradise? Why do the wooden barrels explode like explosive barrels do? Because know, they're full just... of wine, which has alcohol in it, which why'd is naturally... Just... It... What? Hold on a sec. Yeah, why'd you just throw that grenade at yourself? <laughs> yeah! What? <laughs> she is... She no, is you're right, they're, they're made of... Uh, they're full of alcohol, and that's you... why they explode when you punch them. You just yeah, hit the, exactly. the ghost of the fifth element. It was kind of hanging up on the ceiling. Oh. You accidentally blow up one of the UI elements? Yes. That's right. Why does it keep making that noise? Is that when you find a secret... Yeah, uh, no, that's the noise it makes whenever you autosave. Oh, okay. Or checkpoint, rather. So what's the purpose of this dumb purple room? What was the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that Mangalore doing hiding in the closet? Waiting, obviously. <laughs> Waiting to punch you? Waiting for you. Guarding this room full of lava? Full of pink lights? Yeah, just keep kicking the air. Come on, you can do it. Whoa. Mm. Just keep kicking them in the dick. Yep. Keep kicking them in the mangaloids. What's that? <laughs> what? Alright. Why, why uh, we is... activated the thing that allows us to progress. Why is any of this here? Because it's a video game. Well, we've already accomplished half of our objective and are only about eight minutes in. Uh, mm-hmm. Lobst, where are we again? Uh, we're in the bowels of Flost in Paradise. Uh. Frankie? Something about enemas again. Okay. Mm-hmm. The fifth enema. <laughs> yes. That's the enema of surprise. <laughs> Great. Come on, stop flipping. That's all I know. <laughs> oh no, you're on the lava. What? Huh. <laughs> Does the back of the box or uh, the back of the the jewel case that breaks so easily, does that mm-hmm. uh, have a bullet point on it that just says, flip out as Lilu? <laughs> uh, it says I can pound on enemies as martial arts expert Lilu and kick butt as both to complete go- global goals. Nice. Kick, kick, kick butt as both. To yes. complete global goals. <laughs> okay. Uh, it also describes Lost in Paradise as a hedonistic pleasure dome. What? Oh. What? Uh, all right. It's not a dome. It's like a big ship. It's, it's a dome in the metaphorical sense. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know, the, the way you think of domes in literature. 
It also says that the enemies in this game lure, assail, and spy. Uh, more like walk towards you and punch sometimes. No, they track you by by their sense of smell. <laughs> Computer opponents actually learn from their mistakes. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, what Riot, game was that? Rise of the Robots. <laughs> that's yeah. Oh. That's from the <laughs> that's from the like the 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 sort of like retail sell video for a, a Rise of the Robots. Yeah, which by the way, like. I, I assume you haven't played it, Femwa? No, is it is that true? It is a god awful fighting game. Like, hey, it, there's one of those bomb things, but we can't use that one. Apparently, if you if you play it a certain way, it is like completely unwinnable. Oh, the the <laughs> most notable thing about the uh, about the game is that like Brian May did like one song for it, mm -hmm. and like for some reason they got him back for a sequel. Then they yeah. made a sequel. Called R Rise to Resurrection for Sega Saturn, and it's a, it's a stupid game. Mm -hmm. You should look up video of it if you haven't, folks. But first, finish watching this one. Yeah. Rise of the Robots. Mm. I remember. <laughs> Actually, it was funny. <laughs> Okay. Actually playing Rise like, of the Robots? No, 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 no. This is related to Rise of the Robots, but oh. it was back when uh, when Terminator 3 was being, like, it was before Terminator 3 was released, right? Mm -hmm. And Terminator 3 has the subtitle uh, Rise of the Machines, mm -hmm. um, or something, something like that. And yes. I remember that we were uh, in the movie theater, me and my older brother, and... <laughs> He saw the poster for, for Terminator 3, which just had, like, a robot face on it, and said, just Rise of the Machines on it, and he was confused and excited at the same time, going like, oh, wow, they're making a movie about Rise of the Robots. Yeah. <laughs> and the way he was sort of, like, excited about it made me go like, what? You didn't have the heart to tell him that he was wrong? I, yeah, because I was like, what? You like Rise just, of the Robots? Why would let, you let him have this one thing. Rise of the Robots is one of the one of the few fighting games that I've played where I was where I responded to it like, oh wow, I would rather be playing Clay Fighter. Wow. That's basically the, yes. Which Clay Fighter though? The Super Nintendo one or the racist one? Original. Actually there were two Super Nintendo ones. There was C2 Judgment Clay. Yeah, that's true. Weren't they all racist? No. Well, I guess if if you count the like the singing Viking lady in the first one, oh. but that is nothing. <laughs> there's nothing near the the slanty-eyed, buck-toothed uh, Chinese cook yes. in Clay Fighter '64, whose attacks are all uh, named after like fucking Chinese food platters. Yes, see, because... I blocked that one out of my mind. Oh. All I remembered from the N64. Oh God, <laughs> uh, was the uh, <laughs> okay the Rasta guy that was also <laughs> really racist. Uh huh. Uh, God. Oh. So, welcome back to platforming in the fifth element. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Fenwa. I'm Demo Weasel. No, you're not. You wish. Yeah, I do. Sometimes. Remember how we saved up all those lives? I guess. Frankie, it was all for this. Woo, for this moment. Let me be you. <laughs> Just briefly. I want to see what it's like. Is that a line from the fifth element? Uh, probably. Yes. Be you. Here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> See, this just has uh, to be briefly on fire for the sake of the five elements. Yep. Ow. One day we will get out of this room. It'll be great. Only 160 oh. elements. All we left. have to do is cross this one. Hey, there's another platform there. Huh. Okay. This uh, this reminds oh, me. Oh right, of, yeah. So uh, so what? what? <laughs> so what, what happened was, uh, even though I missed that final jump, <laughs> I still managed to trigger the uh, the checkpoint. Uh huh. So it spawned me facing around the corner where this thing continues. Perfect. Oh nice. Amazing. I don't um, know why it then had me clip through this platform instead of jumping onto it, though. Uh, because they hadn't finished loading yet.
Oh, so this is nice. This is great. We have two moving platforms that aren't in sync with each other, uh, oh. and we have to just sort of wait until they line up well enough that we can jump from one to the other. That was the that is the worst in video games, in, in like platformers. Uh, one one game that I played a lot as a kid for some reason and was very mm -hmm. notorious for that was what a is it? Conquest of the Crystal Palace. I've never heard of it. This doesn't strike you as padding at all. <sighs> it, it doesn't strike me as padding. It strikes me as just fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Not mutually exclusive, by the way. Yes. Oh, hey, some greats to, cr to climb yeah. across. We are almost out of this room. Oh, Ooh. it looks like they were trying to do a blue screen effect on this. <laughs> oh, like they tried to they tried to chroma it, but they couldn't figure out how, so they just left it like that. Yeah, of course. Like that's that is not actually. I mean, that could be kind of the case. Like it's a placeholder texture, and they fucked up. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Probably. It was meant to be transparent. Yeah. Uh. All right. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if this game has any sort ah, of like. Nope. Shit. <laughs> That's okay because we activated the next checkpoint. So okay. we move onward. I wonder right. if, if this game has any. Uh, no, wait, no, we didn't. Shit. Oh <laughs> god damn it! If it has any what? If it has any like sort of hidden developer rants, like in the t in the game's code. Oh yeah, that's l that like for uh, the new Tetris on Nintendo sixty four. Yes, tcrf.net, I think the URL is. Yep. For the Cutting Room 4, which is a wiki of stuff like that. Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I activated the checkpoint that time. Oh, you did? not okay, I, I heard it go off, yeah. That's how you progress in the fifth element, the video game. Uh, did, they, did they make this segment, like, did they just give up at this point? Like, yeah. nope, nobody's ever no, gonna uh, uh, get this Objectively, far. yes. Nobody's ever going to get this far. We're running out of time. We saved these last levels for last. Yeah, at this point, like, they have stopped doing bug testing. They just need to get this thing out of the door. If it doesn't crash, it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just turn on no clip. Make sure that when you reach into the level, it ends. So, mm -hmm. uh, thanks for the that, that uh, like, lingering shot of... Lilu's ass while she was on the platform, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's exactly what this game needed. Oh, oh, look at this camera angle. This game needs sex appeal. She does a good Crash Bandicoot impression. Ho hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's so long, camera. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. the, the camera doesn't even want to proceed. Nope, it's like, I don't want to go over there. There's uh. probably more bad game around the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you just handle this on your own, Lilu. Yeah, for some reason we just couldn't get the camera to move. It always quits at or around this point. <laughs> hey, we got the air activator. Hooray! It's a f <laughs> it just flied toward the screen. Okay. Yeah, the air activator, literally just a fan. Yeah. Oh, and I guess we need to get one of these things too. Okay. Ah. Do it. <laughs> what? Yay! What? We did it. What did you do? Uh, we activated the thing that ended the level, which means we get to move on. Hooray! Okay. Save on Machine Room One. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God. Where, wherever we were, there we go. Uh, there's a cutscene, isn't there? Uh, yes, there is, but not at the not at the end of this video. At the start of the next one. What? Ooh. Huh. I'm pretty sure I just forgot to hit stop recording, so we can stop recording whenever. No way. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, Lilu has Ronald McDonald hair. There. I I said it. She has Ronald McDonald hair. Yes. And uh, she is... Fifth Element's McDonald's sponsorship going way too far. Imagine if they made Happy Meal toys for the Fifth Element. <laughs> that would be great. They, they would have done it, like, if the movie was set to be, like, a really huge hit. You know they would have done it. It was a, a huge hit. No, but yeah, I mean, maybe like... maybe, like, International McDonald's has it. Maybe you can get, like, a, a Fifth Element toy with your Royale with cheese. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe instead of, like, Batman glasses overseas, they had Fifth Element glasses. Nice. And, uh... Bad commercials for Taco Bell where, like, some weird alien is hawking the fifth element instead of Star Wars Episode One: A Phantom Menace. Or you have, like, a, like a, <laughs> in black. a Zorg, Zorg action figure. Uh, mm -hmm. or you, you press his back. Action. You press his back, and, like, you hear, disappointed. And then black goo, <laughs> like, drips out from the forehead thing. Yeah, black goo drips out from the forehead, and then he disintegrates and becomes a waterfall. The, the toy was recalled because the black goo was toxic. It's yeah. a sad story. Yeah. It was made with real, real slime. Made with mm -hmm. real goo. <laughs> All right, now with real ooze. All right, stopping this recording.